you accomplished what you were hoping to there in those two starts? I mean, uh, one game, yes. One game, no. Obviously, the goal was to, uh, you know, go 2-0 and in those in those two weeks. But, um, you know, I thought we did some good things, some stuff to build off of for sure. Um, but, I mean, we'll, we'll take a look at everything this offseason and evaluate and see if we can get better. What's the plan for you? Where are you going to work out? What are you going to do during the offseason and all that? Yeah, um, going back home to Texas, that's where, you know, we live in the offseason. And um, I – Got a guy back there that I train with and throw with and everything, and um, I got a got a baby boy on the way, so getting ready for that, which is exciting. Um, but yeah, I'll be back back home in Texas. When you have the what did you learn from the teammates audition about yourself and this offense and what you can take moving forward? Yeah, I felt like I definitely grew. Um, you know, in those two weeks, uh, it's it's one thing to to practice certain things, but once you're out there playing and um, you know, making calls at the line and, and, and doing certain things um, and getting a feel for it, you know, in live action. Um, felt like I definitely grew um, and, and looking forward to, uh, you know, the spring. How much has it helped, too, for having, you know, being in the system for almost a year, but then having two games to be able to sort of go back to whether, whatever it is, watch or just, you know, learn from as you go through that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's huge to, you know, be, be in a system, you know, now for a year. Uh, you know, like some of us were talking, whenever we come back in the spring, nothing's going to be new. You know, it's all going to be stuff that we've heard before, um, stuff that we know how to do and why we're doing it. Um, so, you know, half the time, that's that's the battle. So uh, it, it's good to kind of have that under your belt. For sure. there, were you able to watch yourself on tape as opposed to see what somebody else wanted? How much more helpful is that to just feeling comfortable and, and improving on what you can do? Yeah, I mean, I, I love, you know, being hands-on with things and learning things that way, like doing things. Um, you know, I'm not... I mean, I am an auditory and a visual learner, but, you know, going, getting out there and actually doing it uh, definitely helps. So I uh, definitely feel like I, like I said, grew in the offense um, over the last two weeks, and it was good to, to get out there and, and, and actually do it. Yeah, I think so. Um, and especially, you know, guys that, that we've been to the playoffs before, um, you know, and in other with other teams, um, you know, that feeling is it's hard to beat, you know, playing for something, um, you know, into January and, and so forth. It's uh, that's why you play the games to get to the playoffs, you know, and then make a run at it. So, um, you know, I hope everybody has that burning desire, you know, going into the off season that, you know, realistically, we were really, really close and, um you know, you change the outcome of a couple of games and we're right in the thick of things. So, you know, like I said, I hope everybody has that desire going into uh, next year. Jared, Jared, what's Jared, a, what, did, you, did you get a few minutes with Sean or Davis or anything this morning yet? Uh, I've, got, I've gotten to talk with uh, with Davis and, and Joe. Um, haven't talked to Sean yet, but. Did you have to feel like you formally have to say, I want to practice this, or is that just unspoken? Uh, I mean, I, I think it's unspoken. Um, I mean, I, I'm very confident that I can you know, be the guy for us next year. Um, I have no doubts about that, but I'm going to continue to, you know, continue to work as hard as possible this off season and, and learn as much as possible, um, you know, and, and that sort of thing. So I'm, I'm excited for the opportunity for sure. What's it been like kind of being thrust in the spotlight in the manner you have in recent years? I mean, it's, I mean, it's part of it. Um, you know, like something kind of similar happened last year for me in, in, in Vegas when I played for the Raiders. So, um, it, you know, it's just part of it. You just kind of take it as it comes. And, um, you know, I've always just try to keep my head down and, and work and um, just try and play good football. And you kind of follows the draft, the free agency, or your blinders is on just do what I do and see where it shows up? Well, I mean, you, you definitely, like, see everything. And, um, you know, I've got buddies around the league and, you know, anxious to see where they go and that sort of thing. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, you know, I'll be I'll be back in April and, Ready to rock, so I'm I'm excited for um, you know the opportunity to come back for sure. Jared, a year ago, Clark went home for those two weeks. This year, obviously, Russ was here. What kind of a teammate was he for you these last two weeks? He was great, super super positive, um, super helpful. Um, anything you know that he saw during the game, or you know at practice, or you know while we're watching film, whatever it may be, uh, he was super helpful. You know the entire time. So you know I can't speak highly enough about about Russ and. You know what he's meant to the room. You know this entire year, it was it was a lot of fun with him.